I'm noticing a flicker on my uh, camera. I'm looking at my iPhone um, through the app for the uh, GoPro Hero 8. And it looks like it may be flickering. So I'm going to turn off the headlamp. That stopped the flickering. It's not as good as light, a good a light as with the uh, headlamp, but uh, just gonna have to work without it. But anyway, I'm uh, gonna be working at my computer table today up in my bedroom, and I've got my uh, uh, super sculpty clay. I'm gonna be making a rifle uh, out of that, and I'm gonna have it in a uh, leather sheath, and I'll show you all that in just a minute in the photographs that I've gathered today. It's going to be a real short day because uh, I spent some time trying to find all this material on the type of rifle and stuff like that. It's going to be a 50 cal caliber uh, Hawkins rifle which was sought after by the mountain men back then and uh, had to get the measurements of it and all that other stuff and then I had had to scale it to the uh, mountain man I'm working in on in uh, uh, below he heaven's roof, and um, so I'll be right back and explain everything. Time to play with some clay. All right, I've got uh, my uh, wire armature for the rifle. Uh, this is uh, what I'm basing my uh, covering of the rifle on. This this is a reenactor here who uh, is dressed up as a mountain man. And he's got a very simple sheath over his uh, uh, expensive... Uh, my rifle a uh, flintlock and let me tell you something they were very important to them that it was their it actually meant whether they'd live or die in the wilderness at a lot of times um, this is uh, the back end the the trigger guard or the trigger hammer and guard down here the end of the rifle you can see he's wrapped the leather end over the back part of the butt of the rifle to protect it. This keeps it dry and keeps dust out of it. And then he's tied it right here to uh, keep that uh, nice and safe and uh, dust free and wet free. Uh, the last thing you want in a flintlock is a wet charge. Now this is the uh, 50 cal uh, caliber uh, Hawkins that I'm basing my sculpture on. This is a, I got a, a video program. I don't even know if it's still available. It's called, it's called Printmaster Gold 18. I purchased it online and it takes some time to learn how to use it the way I use it. But you can scale. I've got a eight, eight, nine inch uh, uh, section of uh, tape measure that I've reduced down to the head length, and I'm going with a nine inch head length. Uh, it they vary between eight and a half and nine and a, nine inches, and so I've uh, just put as many as it takes for the 28 inch barrel. And that's how I scaled the, the whole rifle is by just lining the end of the barrel there and the back of the barrel right there. And that automatically scales everything. Now, I'll take those aside and I'm gonna cut this here off.
I think my light is flickering or making the cam camera flicker. I think what I'll do is turn on my lamp and turn off. Yeah, that might be a better way to light this subject. Anyway, um, so I've got the uh, armature pretty close to the... Uh, shape of the uh, rifle and I just need to make sure I get everything straight and uh, yeah get it flat I don't want it curving at any point now I got to put the clay into the microwave and uh, see how that works out and then I'll start uh, sculpting or it'll at, at least block in the uh, rifle. Uh, it's going to be completely covered in uh, that leather sheath, but I still have to have the rifle shape under the uh, uh, clay or under the sheath. Anyway, all right, be right back. This is the headlamp I was using. Uh, I got it off of Amazon. Very, very cheap. But uh, it lights up beautifully. But I think the light source is what makes the camera flicker. So it uh, won't be helping me here. There's a bunch of little tiny, looks like lights, uh, across the... Uh, full length there and you can wear it on your head it's adjustable and uh, it's really a great uh, great tool I'll set that aside I'll just have to use the uh, desk lamp I got here and uh, I put the uh, super sculpting in the microwave for about 15 minutes or seconds <laughs> in 15 minutes it would be liquid Anyway, I put it in there for 15 seconds, and it's perfect. So I'm going to roll it out. I, I haven't got much time to work on this. I'm uh, in my robe, as you can see. And uh, I'm going to take a shower. I'm going to dinner tonight, so I've got to uh, get ready for that. But for now... Yeah, I'm just going to have to pick this up Monday. I just haven't got time. It's I got about 10 minutes to get, do anything. And that's not enough time for you guys to see it. So I'll pick this up Monday. Um, I'll take a photograph of how I got my camera set up. It's perfect. And it's a mount that I bought online a long time ago. And I just haven't used it much. All right. See you guys uh I'll see you guys Tuesday. I, I'm not going to be here Monday because I've got to go to uh, the foundry with the uh, Bronze of Battle trophy and deliver it back to the foundry so they can ship it out to uh, England. All right. Good night, everybody. Have a great weekend. I'll see you uh, next time. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.